Hello, today we'll speak about classical Tetris game, or rather we will implement it in 5 minutes using JavaScript, or maybe it will take a bit more, we'll see, as usual starting with a boilerplate code the generate 10 by 20 table that will be our game field. Also pieces array will represent all possible pieces. I will speed up a bit here to save some time. Notice that numbers represent colors from colors array so that each piece will have different color. Next we implement init function that actually generates the table. If you watched other videos you should be familiar with this code. Draw function will render the state of the game field and the current piece on the screen. First it draws already placed pieces and then puts the falling piece on top. The only thing is that we should take care about field boundaries. Game function will implement main game logics. Essentially it is a scheduled job that for now just renders a piece. It also generates new piece if it does not exist. We can check in the browser now to make sure we are on the right track. Next step is to verify if the falling piece is clashing with accessing already placed pieces. Logics is quite simple. For every non-zero element of piece array, we check if it overlaps with non-zero elements of game field. In other words, the valid position function returns true if the falling piece fits the game field not conflicting with existing pieces. We can use this function and implement the logics how a piece is moving down. Once we hit invalid position we need to start with a new piece. Checking in browser and we can see that something started to move. What we will do next is implement key handling to move the piece left and right and also make it fall using space key. It can be done by adding key down event listener to the document. Here we also use valid position function to check if movement to the left and to the right are valid. Moving down is similar. We just try to move down by one cell and break when we reach the bottom of the field or another already placed pieces. In the browser we can see that now we can move the falling piece. But we see that nothing happens when a piece reaches bottom of the screen. Let's implement it. The logics is quite simple. For every non-zero element of piece array we copy its value to the game field. Another check in the browser. Now it looks better and the pieces are stacking up until the tower is reaching the top of the game field. In this case it is a game over situation. Here we can reuse valid position function and check if newly generated piece cannot be put to the screen then it means that we have lost the game. Very easy. Doing another quick check in the browser. but we are missing a possibility to remove lines. That will be our next task. We need to help her functions for this. First of all we need to check if the whole row has elements. Next we need a helper function that will move a row down by one. Finally we just move from bottom to top and check if the row is full. If so we just move all above rows down by one. Quite easy solution. Almost forgot about very important feature. We need to rotate a piece. For this we need rotate function. It will basically rotate a piece by 90 degrees clockwise. Logics might look quite tricky, but it helps to visually imagine how elements of the matrix moves. 
For example top left corner becomes top right corner. And bottom left corner becomes top left corner. Refer to breakdown on 5minsofcode.com for details. Link will be in the description. Don't forget to include this code into our key press handler. Now we are ready to play the game. We can see that all basic functions are working fine. Unfortunately we did not manage to fit into 5 minutes, but I think it's okay. This project was quite big and challenging. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and seeing you in next video.